Oh, right, I gotta make sure. I can't hear you. Try again, Josh. Yeah, can you hear me okay. now, Greg? Yeah, yeah, thanks. Okay, awesome. Congratulations on the win, Greg. Um, Thank you. For sure. Outside of the set piece goal, maybe maybe this one sort of played out the way that you wanted. Yeah, I thought. Uh, again, I thought our our possession was good. I thought the ball moved faster today. It's a slow field to begin with, but I thought we got the ball moving. I thought we were in good spots. You know, in the first half, I felt like we were in we were getting to those good sort of attacking positions, but then we needed to find that next gear to to really get behind them and turn those opportunities into chances because we were getting to we were getting to where we wanted to get to, but then it became like the game just slowed down a little bit when we got there and we needed to speed it up. Um, but we got the goals. The second half it came out in all these games they kind of tend to open up and goals change games and and that started to become down the stretch the game was getting a little bit stretched out and you know nowadays when the games get stretched out we do have speed that can kill as well so uh you know <clears throat> i was i was pleased with the again i was pleased with the play i was pleased with the quality of the play i was pleased with the the effort and the commitment the guys made again don't like the set piece goal that we gave up we got to continue to work at that um, but a lot of good things came out of tonight, in, uh, including just the, uh, I thought, the collective effort and commitment and uh, sticking to, kind of sticking to the plan for, for a good stretch of the game. And then once it opens up, things open up and you got to go for them when they open up. And I think that, that helped us to get some separation. I got to give credit to John, made a couple big saves and one in particular that then led to the goal on the other side almost like one minute later. And, and that was a huge save. Uh, that then got the game going again, like I said, going in the other direction that would then led to Dayon's goal, and, and it was big. So, um, yeah, a lot of good performances out there tonight. It's focusing in on, on Ricky Pooch, and, and, you know, I know maybe uh, not criticism, but you guys were talking about how maybe you wanted him to get the ball off his foot a little quicker and try to find some of that space. It seemed like he found the space tonight, and he was able to put in some, some really nice passes. Is that, that fair? Yeah, definitely. I, I think it's a... Uh... I think when the ball moves fast, everybody has a little better space. The timing is better. Everything kind of flows. It's a little more predictable for each other, and everything looks better when the ball flows. It's when we dribble looking for solutions uh, where if we do that a lot and multiple guys are doing that, then it just really comes bogged down. And, and I felt like everybody really focused tonight on keeping the ball moving. You know, the moments where we dribbled to find solutions were fewer and far between, and the ball movement was, was much more the the key to the day uh, and if we can do that as I've said to these these guys I don't think there's many teams who can play as fast as we can and get the speed of the game going as fast as we can uh, so we need to make sure we try to stay in that space as much as possible and try not to try not to slow things down with uh, too many touches or or too many pauses in action so um, there's the right times to do that but but we just want to keep the game moving quick if we can and we separate people and then we can utilize our speed so I thought Ricky was great uh, I thought a lot of guys had good nights, like I said, and we did a, you know, we did a different, uh, we looked a little bit different ways to, to create space and find space. We obviously used Joseph in a little bit different role tonight, um, which also gave, you know, gave us another number kind of higher up the field at times. Uh, and so that was, uh, it was, it was good. I think it worked out for the night. It's not necessarily something that's going to be every day, but it worked out for the night. It was good spots for us. Go I think quickly, Alex. you guys are three one and one on the road right now. The only team in Major League Soccer with three wins on the road. Also, you guys have played five road games, so that that also goes into that. Um, what does it mean that for that, and then also looking now at a top of the Western Conference again? Yeah, again, I I said this last week. I I mean, we've had a really tough schedule to start the season. When you look at the opponents we've had, we've had like you said five of eight on the road. Uh, you know, we've played some teams that we haven't had great records against over the last, you know, over the last three to five years, and we've we've gone to tough places, got results. We've played teams that have given us a hard time. We've gotten results. This place hasn't been friendly to us over the last couple of years, and we had another, we had a good performance tonight and got three points. So, uh, I think the work that we're doing and focusing on the things that we need to focus on to keep making strides and focusing on our performances uh, as I said to the guys if we can focus on that the, the results will continue to show for us um, and I'm happy for these guys because they've put in a work and it's nice to be back on top but we know it's still a lot of season left in front of us uh, so we just got to keep going one game at a time Go thanks ahead. Greg trouble safe Go thank ahead, you appreciate Alex. it
Hey Greg, uh, congratulations on the win. Um, you mentioned that you guys used Joseph a little bit different today. Um, just in general, can you give me your thoughts on his performance and what worked and maybe what didn't work a bit today on um, the pitch for Joseph? Yeah, again, I thought um, I thought a lot of things worked. I, like I said, I think there's times when, not necessarily on Joseph, but there's times when we got to good spots and we had the advantage and we didn't really accelerate the game in that moment. We kind of paused the game in that moment. We should have then kept the foot on the accelerator and gone. And a couple of times we we slowed it down. And if we would have kept the speed going, I think Joseph and a couple of the guys would have had a little more action in the final in the box and in the final uh, play a little bit more. So, uh, but I thought his movement was smart. It's not you know it's not a position he's played a ton of, but I thought his movement was smart. Um, I thought his work rate. Uh, was excellent and then at the end of the game we switched it and we put him back on the outside and moved Ricky to the middle and got him kind of flying from the outside which is where the goal came from and so uh, again we played a little bit of the long game in this one and tried to to take up some good positions for good stretches of the game and then and then slide something uh, and make a little bit of a change in the in the latter part of the game that when it was opening up to see if we could get Joseph facing forward a little bit more and running from wide right positions to the inside and he was able to uh, to benefit, and it was a hell of a pass from Ricky too to get him to get him going. Yeah, I also wanted to ask you too about John McCarthy. I'm um, obviously the last game and then this game tonight, making some big saves, keeping you guys in games. I mean, how important has he been um, as the goalkeeper, and also just being that voice in the back line for you guys um, during open play situations? Yeah, I think <clears throat> I think John's been great. We've said that again. What he brings to the team is very important. Uh, I think anytime you're on the road, uh, there's going to be moments when you when you need your keeper to come up with a save or two or three. Uh, and certainly, for us, John has has done a good job of doing that and a great job in the last couple of weeks. And tonight, he made a couple of big saves that, like you know, one in particular, then turns into the transition. I think that leads to the goal, which is just it's massive. Um, and so yeah, I'm I'm really happy with what John has has been able to do and what he's been able to bring to our group. You know, again, leadership and, and presence behind the back line is just so important, and it's it's nice to have him back there.